Hi, Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. So the last letter, uh, actually we have two more letters after this, Luca. So we need to do the U. Okay, the U of this one is actually a pretty challenging letter because of the, see this curvature here? That is actually pretty hard to get right. So I'm just gonna start from this going counterclockwise. I want one sort of closer up here to help me control it. This one, I'm probably gonna put a lot more nodes than I need to just starting out because it's a tricky one. Let's put a smooth one, try to get it at the right height. Actually, I didn't check all the heights to make sure all of those cupping nodes are in the right spot. Because I sort of trying to put these opposite, you see trying to put those opposite to these ones here. That gives you the best chance to actually make it look right when the nodes are sort of opposite for each other from each other or sort of opposite but following the curve, you see? That's why this one's a little bit lower than this one. Okay. Now what we we have to get these a little bit in the right spot before we harmonize. I, I don't want to harmonize yet. This is feeling too thick there. Needs to go up by one. Then this stuff needs to go up also to try to get it. This side is not looking like the other side, so we need to get some more here. So let's put in the U. See, we're very crumply starting out. That's because I'm using so many nodes, so many points um, with this. Okay. Uh, I want that one out. So that means to take this one out too. It did help us get the curve a little bit more precise while we were doing this. These ones we're going to leave in for now, I think. This side is a hard, the diff more difficult side. Because the... Whenever you have a shape and the amount of contrast that it's not getting thicker, that's always a lot harder to do. So this side is not changing, but this side is changing from thick to thin. So that's going to be easier to do. Okay, so that's good enough. So now we're going to harmonize it. Watch. You can see now we got a lot smoother there. We have bulges right here, right here, too thin right there and just all those little things like that, but at least we're in the right, we're getting in the right ballpark now. <clears throat> so just to make this easier on ourselves, I'm gonna do the easy stuff first, which is this sort of serify thing at the top. And I'm gonna add in this and this, and just trying to get this looking like what I expect it to look like, sort of smooth and sort of similar to the other people's serifs, which means that this needs to be moved up a bit. Okay, so the power nudge did move this guy down, so I have to move him back down a little bit. Actually, it should be about 15. Okay, now this is a 16 also, so that's okay. This one I want to be a little bit more like that. Okay, you see that looks a little bit better when you're looking at it here. Let's see if going here, oh, let's adjust the A. So if you have spacing controls on in your view panel, then you just scroll that down. And then we got, this is not a very exact side bearing, but that's not what I was in. But it's a lot better. So we can at least see, tell that what we're doing here. Okay, adding the serif tips and then pull that out and then pull this up and over. Okay, we can turn on this stuff. Okay, so I didn't do too badly. This is too far up though. Okay, zooming out. This got separated. Okay, so now, Yeah, there's so many high resolution screens. So I like how things are getting a little bit higher resolution. Like you can have fraction exponents. I don't know really when that started, but I really like that.
because when you have used fractional exponents on your export, so let me show you, when you go into your export profiles, you have, okay, so those are not, for Aluka, I'm, I don't think I'm doing fractional exponents. So there, round coordinates to UPM grid, or you can do keep fractional exponents. I like fractional exponents. That essentially increases the resolution of your font by 100 that we saw in the last video. So that is pretty nice. I think that that I think that's the the trend is towards higher. I mean, I don't think the trend is going to be towards lower resolution. I mean, everything has high resolution now. So unless you're printing it for really small, but since this is a display, it's intended for big. So I'm assuming that the resolution is going to get better, not worse. So I'm trying to make my fonts, the California Type Foundry fonts, sort of future proof a little bit more by using having the masters at really, really good, even if I have to export them at lower resolution, that if I have the masters really good, then I can always in the future make a new version that's higher resolution like that. See this, I'm getting to see how it was darker red. This one's not really changing the shape too much, but it is making it the right, oh, there we go, it changed the shape there. So now it is not that darker red like that. You can see how beautiful those tops of those counters are. This part I don't like so much, and I think that's because he is sort of in a straight line now. So I'm gonna move him over a little bit, and then this guy has to be moved over some to make sense with what he's doing. See, okay, so that side's looking better now too. Okay. So bring that over. Sort of adjust this. Now, once I harmonize that, it should move down. Yeah. So what you do is it sort of pulls, the node sort of pulls over to where the curve is. So if I lessen this curve, then that's going to bring him back the other way. So if I go this and harmonize and that brings, but if I increase this curve, that's going to pull him over towards the middle a little bit more, towards where I was moving that side. Now, let's see if I can harmonize this one. And then we have to determine if the original shape looked a little too lumpy. This right here is not looking good to me. Ooh, that made it worse. Okay, so we're going to instead adjust this side a little bit better. Okay, so I'm starting to like this side of the curve. And like we said, this is the, a little bit of the easier side to do. I'm going to harmonize each of those to get it. So this side, so the left side looks good. And I'm just thinking of it like I'm carving out a nice counter. I'm trying to just carve this out here, trying to carve the counter until it's something that's nice. It's much easier to think in terms of counters than it is of the black area. I, I, don't, I don't know why, because I guess because you have more of a solid shape than the black part of it, usually. Uh, this is a little bit hard to tell what to do. Let's try taking these out and see if that helps him. Totally change his shape. So we're going to have to pull this down, pull this part down. Okay, car going by. So pull this over because I don't want it to be conflicting with, I don't want the things to be crossing there. So now I am going to just going to harmonize this side and see what happens. Okay. I want to see if we can fix this with just having the less points. Now what's happening is we're getting a too much curvature right here. So it's looking like a lump. Um, another thing we can do is let's try just removing. Oh, we're going to have to adjust that again. We might need another curve down there, I think, but I think that we're going to put it up a little bit higher this time, like right here and right here. Now we're going to delete these guys, see if we can get this shape just looking more smooth, and then we'll put in the details. Sometimes it's also good to just remove points and then work on the details uh, later and just remove points now. 
Um, that's actually looking pretty good right there. Using my knife tool. But it's not sort of the same shape as the original, and I wanted to get a little bit closer. So I want this to be closer to actually on the fuzz. I did this side needs to be, see he's underneath the fuzz, so then he needs to be underneath the fuzz, so then he needs to be underneath the fuzz, and all the way until we get to a point where, okay, we're not inside the fuzz anymore. Okay, so the inside looks pretty good. You can see the inside looks pretty good. It looks, it's it's not symmetrical in shape, um, which might mean, let's move this up a little bit. It's not all the way symmetrical in shape, but I don't think it's supposed to be. Let's look at the original. Oh, well, I closed that out. Okay. Another way we can look at the original is by switching over to mask here. And seeing how that looks. Yeah, see, it's not really symmetrical. It's like this side dips differently than the other side. Unfortunately, I only had one U example. There was not, I don't think there was more than one U in this set. Okay, okay, that was a problem. I couldn't see where my fuzz was. Oops. Okay, don't do that. That's when you push right and left at the same time. You can delete your node. Is helpful though when you want to delete the node when you don't. Okay, I'm gonna call that done. <laughs> That's a tricky one. You can see it's a little bit too thin right here. It's a little bit too thin right here, but that might be a little bit tricky. Oh no, no, I want to fix it. I don't want to fix it by moving him out. Just by moving him, which is probably gonna be mean move him out a little bit. Okay, so let's check it out. 32, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, so that type of change is what we want because we wanted it to get sort of gradually thicker as we went up. Okay, so let's take a look at them now. Are you? In the next video, I'm going to do our last letter, which is our C, and then we also have already done our A, so then we will be done with writing... A, doing the main letters for this font.